Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Zelda A Link to the Past. We beat the last dungeon with some trouble, but we beat it and we're finally out of it. And now we can head to one of, if not my most, well not my most, but one of my favorite dungeons in the Dark World, the second one. And I just really like that one, the theme, the enemies, the boss especially, he's awesome. And also just because it's quite easy. And I can always appreciate that, especially after hell like the first one. Yeah, so... I'm looking forward to it. When I last left off, I said... Left off? Left off, I said. Okay, um... Hopefully I will be able to speak English by the time this video is over. When I last left off, uh... I said that... I was getting my braces off, and I did, but I have my retainer, unfortunately. But, you know, technology for the retainer seems to have improved since I last saw it on anybody, because now it's just like a clear plastic thing you put over your teeth, and there's really no hassle. So, you know, when I last saw it, it was big, uncomfortable, chunk, blocky, and pretty disgusting. Now it seems to be quick and easy. Anyway, this video is going to be heading to the uh, second palace of the Dark World, which um, I'm looking forward to, like I said, but I don't know why I'm repeating myself like this. I have to avoid things like that if I want to make a good let's play. Anyway, shoot that guy in the face. I love how the arrow just sticks there. I don't know if he would have actually been able to survive that in real life, but anyway, Let's display what the hammer does here. It pounds stakes. Like that. But I'm not going to be going there yet. Okay. Calm down there. I am first going to be getting the magic powder. Or doing the first step to getting the magic powder. Which is to give that mushroom we found in the forest a while back to the witch. She is in the light world so I will have to do some warping. But I'm basically just going to get over there and give her the mushroom and then we'll do that whole procedure. So, um, video uploads are slow as usual and that's bad, but really that's because my brother's here and he's hogging up the computer, but today he actually went out, so I have time to do some of this. So anyway, I'm gonna not kill that thing and instead just warp. Warp. <clears throat> that word got caught in my throat. Because do we really have to kill everything we see? I don't think so. That's cruel, isn't it? Nah, who cares. Anyway, give this... If, oh, so if we give her that mushroom, she can finish her brew. So, you just press the item button with the mushroom equipped next to her. She will take it. And then you have to wait a little while before coming back into the shop and you will get the magic powder for free. It's a pretty good deal. Anyway, now we're going to head to the second dungeon. We're going to do what we're supposed to. Avoid those weird, bouncy plant tentacle things, because they do two hearts worth of damage. It's quite a lot. Especially relative to how many hearts we have right now. Anyway, dashing through this rock segment here. Oh, I didn't mean to hit him with a hammer, but it works pretty well. Why did I leave the screen? I'm strange sometimes when it comes to playing video games. Stop leaving the screen. I didn't mean to do that that time. Ah, oh, the bomb guy just blew up the plant tentacle jumping thing. I don't even know what to call those things. I don't know what they are called. Maybe I should look up the instruction manual online, because I don't actually have any instruction manual in case you wouldn't have under uh, known that by now. But anyway, I say that so much. I need to stop doing that too, because then I just followed up with a weird silence where I don't say anything. And that's no fun, is it? Dashing, dashing, dashing through the grass. Oh, yeah. As you can see, the dark world um, terrain is basically the same as the light world. But here is the second dungeon now. We have to make sure to do something before 
Ooh, that moblin was right on me. Could have hurt me. Anyway, what we have to do before heading into here is we have to drain the water. Or rather, we have to open the floodgates in the light world version and then go back in in the dark world version. Open the floodgates, yes, and avoid that thing, I hate them. That's why I want the magic powder, because it can turn them into fairies, which is very nice. And this video is almost over, what do you know? So we're going to go back into the portal, and we're going to head into the next dungeon. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.